the idea of driverless cars, I think, has been around since cars became commonplace on American roads, certainly since the 30s. My favorite movie when I was growing up was Herbie the Love Bug, where it's this Volkswagen that's essentially a self-driving conscious entity in an automobile. It's the funniest thing ever seen on wheels. Go back to the 64 World's Fair and you had companies talking about driverless cars with somebody in a control tower talking to you about like, okay, take your hands off the wheel now and we'll, we'll take you home. This idea has been around because it just seems so obvious. Automobile, self-moving, well, it should be fully automobile and, and drive it itself. Some 46,000 people a year die in automobile crashes. Autonomous cars, if they become ubiquitous, would virtually eliminate that. The thinking is, since the majority of crashes are caused by quote-unquote human error, if we eliminate humans, we would eliminate the errors. But let's face it, when driverless cars are in the news, they're in the news for screwing up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, we're going on the wrong side of the road. So the challenge is we've got machines interacting with people. Self-driving is one of the reasons that people are working so hard on artificial intelligence. You know, it's one thing to keep the lane on the highway, but to actually like fully drive requires an almost human-like ability to improvise. In the years I've been covering this industry, fully autonomous cars are always two years away, and they keep being two years away. Now, when it comes, it's not gonna be all at once. For example, already we're seeing things like in agriculture with self-driving tractors, farmers can go out there and program the machine, go home, have breakfast, work around the farm while the field is plowed by an autonomous tractor. This holds the promise of democratizing automobiles. You don't have to have a driver's license. You don't have to know how to drive. When the world gets to a point where a mom or a dad can take their uh, kindergarten age kid down to a car and say, here, son, get in this car. It's going to take you to school. Because it's one thing for me to get in a driverless car and be willing to take that risk. When I can put a young child in that car, that's the ultimate test. <laughs>